This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Friday, September 1st. Due to delays caused by the hurricane, the port of Tampa was closed until late Thursday, impacting both fuel tankers and cruise ships. This includes Carnival's Paradise and Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas. Now, with the port prioritizing fuel shipments, both Serenade and Carnival Paradise didn't return to Tampa until early this morning. Carnival Paradise will now sail a modified three-night cruise to nowhere. That's with no port stops. And at the time of broadcast, I didn't see the letter from Royal Caribbean where they're actually sailing to. Now, while the Passenger Vessel Services Act generally mandates port stops for all cruise ships leaving U.S. ports, exceptions can be made for circumstances like inclement weather, allowing ships to sail without stopping at a foreign port. And the Celebrity Beyond assisted the Italian Coast Guard in a search and rescue operation late last week. The ship received a call from the Italian Coast Guard asking them to approach a vessel to create a wind and sea shelter for over 200 people on a fishing boat without life jackets. Now this video here, courtesy of Captain Kate's TikTok. Celebrity Beyond arrived on the scene within 20 minutes and gave the extra life jackets. Shortly after, a second Coast Guard cutter arrived on the scene to transfer more people to safety. Now an hour and a half later, Celebrity was released from its post and continued its voyage without any changes to its itinerary. Earlier this year, Beyond made a rescue near Cuba when sailing in the Caribbean. And after pausing its weekly calls to Maui due to the wildfires in Lahaina, Norwegian Cruise Line's Pride of America will resume its operation back to Maui this weekend. The cruise line had temporarily adjusted its itineraries earlier this month to alleviate stress on local resources. During its time away, the cruise line contributed $50,000 to the Maui United Way and collected over $150,000 in essential supplies for the community. Hawaii State Governor Josh Green and the Hawaii Tourism Authority both expressed gratitude for the cruise line's return to the island this weekend and helping aid in its economic recovery. And the photo of the week comes from David in Raleigh, North Carolina. Carnival's Mardi Gras dock here. Great picture, nice sunny day. Send yours into Doug at cruiseradio.net. Just remember all photos are subject to broadcast. And cruise line stocks were flat on Thursday. Carnival Corporation 15.82, Royal Caribbean 98.94, and Norwegian 16.57. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a wonderful three-day weekend. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. We'll see you later. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.